Welcome back to another video and today we're having a look at White Rose Maths. So White Rose is something that I've never used before in my years of teaching so far. I've been in school for four years, I did my three years training before that and I've never actually been in a school that uses White Rose. I've heard a lot about it, I've known people in other schools that have used White Rose but it's not something my school has done for the last four years while I've been teaching. We've been using Abacus or Active Learn as it's also called and it's been really really good but we're making the change over to White Rose now for various different reasons and we're hoping it'll really benefit the children in our school and so today I'm gonna have a quick look online at what it looks like, how what type of things we're doing at. Now I've not logged in to our account on purpose and that's because I know White Rose obviously has various things about copyright on their stuff so I'm just going to use the free sample lesson that they put out there for them to have a look at what it looks like and then obviously I will talk to them a little bit about what I can and can't share because I don't really know those rules but yeah so for today we're just using the sample lesson which if I go on to here we're going to go into the autumn term which is year five because that's what I'm going to be teaching next year so it's year five and then as you can see here I've not logged into our school account on the iPad today so we're just going to look at the sample lesson up here the Roman numerals one to a thousand and I'm just going to have a look and see what it gives us because I've not really had a look through before we had a quick staff meeting on it a little while ago but I want to have a look about what it is that it's giving us what type of things we've got to look at and just how it's going to help me and what, what I think of it really. So start, we're going to start by having a look at this scheme of learning up here. So I'm going to go and see and I, this kind of looks like it's kind of telling us what's going to be going on which I think is quite helpful. It gives me a good idea about how they teach things because it is going to be a lot different from, white, from Abacus that we've been doing so far. I think there's a lot more reasoning stuff, there's a lot more kind of bar models that they use in this and so hopefully this will help out and yeah there you go some teacher guidance on what each block means how it's broken down, that kind of thing, the international curriculum, things to look out for, that's always helpful if we zoom into that bit. Things where they might make mistakes, and again, they're good for me as well, mistakes I can then watch out for in terms of what things children might be doing wrong and how to do that. Key questions and then sentence stems to help kind of improve and have them up on the board, get them thinking about what they're doing is always useful. So on each page we've got I think these must be the worksheets the children are working on, I guess. So if we have a look at these ones, they look quite good. They look quite useful. I think I'm going to go back because this, this says there's 56 pages long and we don't need to go through all 56 pages. I think, you know what, let's go have a look at what the actual lessons do. because That looks really good, but I'm not going to sit and go through the whole scheme of learning on here. So the sample lessons, we've got different buttons here. We've got the download button. I think that's the teaching slides. We've got that one. Should we just open them all up and see what we've got? Close that one close that one so we've got the download one the teaching slides yeah if we view them we'll see what they look like on here we've got the true or false I assume the true or false question a worksheet to write on oh yeah and the answers so I know at my school there is an option here where you can just print off the worksheet for individual lesson or you can also order they have specific books that the children can write in I know we've ordered the books which we don't have any they've not actually arrived yet but I will try and show you guys some of those books eventually if obviously I always say I'm allowed. I'm not sure about that, as I said. But yeah, I will have a look. But I know, so I will have a look at that worksheet because that's obviously the page that we're doing. But we shall see about whether or not I can use those or whether you use them as well as a book or the same as a book. I just simply don't know. And that's why I'm having a look together at this. So if we go along. I assume this is the download, first of all. Yeah, because then the teaching slides are the download. It's three pages. Oh, yes, we were just looking at this, weren't we? Some guidance about this some questions for them all to have a look at. This looks a bit like a knowledge organiser. So you know we make knowledge organiser, lots of schools do nowadays, I think Offset said they like them, so loads of schools are doing them. You make them for different subjects. This is a bit like this of knowledge organiser for Roman numerals. So it's the type of things you're, we're gonna be learning in class and some helpful bits, that all looks quite good. So we have a look at the teaching slides as well. Now what I've been told about these, and like I say, I've not really looked at them yet, but I've been told they're really, really good because they pretty much give you step by step everything you need to do. You don't need to make any slides. So at the minute, even with Abacus, Abacus tells us what to do, but we still have to make the slides ourselves of what we want to teach. Whereas White Rose should say that actually this is the teaching slides, this is what you need to go through. This will give the children the right learning for the lesson, which again, reduces our workload, gives children precisely what they need for that lesson. It just seems to be really, really good. So we go through, get ready, here's your starter. Okay, so that's always a nice bit of a starter. Now I know these will pop up kind of one question by one question on PowerPoint online on the computer because I'm going through this on the iPad which you can see on the screen then you know they will look a bit funny but you can see here we've got questions right at number 6, 19, complete the part whole model and then we've got the answers brilliant and again yeah I know these pop up one by one so they're not just appearing on the screen all at once for the children 
So that's kind of the revisit that we always talk about. We've got our kind of teach simply model, revisit, practice, or revisit, teach, practice, and apply. So that's a revisit bit. This is the teach bit. So we're going to teach the new learning. So the letters in the Roman num number system, what does these have to represent? And then some other letters I think are looking a bit dodgy because it's on the internet. But will be there. Yeah. What is number showing? Okay, so they're all there. I know it looks a bit weird, but they'll work. And again, showing how to kind of decode the Roman numerals. So the first bit's 980, the next bit, you've got 50, 10, 10, 10, that's 80, add them all up. Can you write 974 in Roman numerals using those ones? Put them in the right order. Yeah, again, they all make sense. And here we've got some of those kind of split models, I can't remember what they're called. But you can put do the 600 and one half, the 79 and another half, split them down even further to 50, 20 and 9. Again, brilliant. What is CD in numerals? CD means 400, CD means 600. Who's right? Amir is right. One mistake is the other person. Okay, so there's some quite good deep thinking there. Okay, it's not just asking them who's correct and which one's right, but they're asking, okay, the person that's wrong, why are they wrong? What have they not quite got there? Again, good, real, kind of deeper thinking. I think that's why we're moving to White Rose. It's that deeper reasoning thinking that we're going towards. But I think, yeah, that sounds really good. So, here you go, your turn. So have a go at questions one to five on the worksheet. So if I flick across and go and find the worksheet, here we go. So they're gonna start doing questions one to five. So they're gonna fill in the table. You've got tens, we've got hundreds. What year is shown at the end of the film? So they can then use that table at the top to fill in that. Write the numerals and Roman numerals, complete the diagrams. Okay, so yeah, you can see it all kind of links back to the teaching slides that we've just done. These bar models here are also, they're on here. So I don't think they're called bar models, can't remember what the name of these models are. And then we've got some stuff about Dora and Amir again, who's correct, what mistakes did the person made. So there are all the questions we've just done, up to question five, which is completing that table. Okay, so once they've done that, then I guess we'll go back onto this. And yeah, the, here goes some more teaching slides. So just a really good way, it breaks the lesson down. It just means you're not just sending the kids off and they've just got to work for the entire lesson. You're breaking it down and saying, right guys, look, five questions, get five questions done, can you get sorted? I know one of the things I've thought about with White Rose so far is kind of the first question I put in my head is what are you going to do if you're 10 minutes into the lesson, you've set them all off working and all of a sudden someone's finished, they want to move on, but all the rest of the class are all sat waiting. How are you going to help their children? And that's where I'm going to have a look at using some kind of other schemes that we've got, other resources that I'm going to make myself or I might use some stuff from textbooks that we've used in the past and have some kind of mastery resources, some deeper level thinking resources some good reasoning things that the children can use, things like the true or false questions that we'll have a look at in a minute. Then we've got this page where we've got some more calculations and then another teaching page again. It looks like it's going to column addition or column subtraction. Very, very dodgy on the internet version of this, but I'm sure it'd be much, much better if we were to download it properly on a computer. This is really good. And then going on to, and then you go the rest of the questions on the worksheet, which we go to find the worksheet again, looks like these. So we've got some, what month is shown, match the questions to the answers, sequences using Roman numerals. I do think if this is the first lesson, it's really tricky because Roman numerals are something that are always really, really hard to teach, mainly because they're not done very often. We do a couple of lessons on it all year. But, so it is a tricky first lesson, but you know, it gets them going and it's good place value knowledge. The true or false for this one, we've just got, it's one, one true or false question, which you can have up on the board as a bit of a thinking question just throughout that week, I guess, or throughout that lesson. How many, what is this in Roman numerals? Is it true or false? False, and they've got the right answer as well, which is always handy. And then you've got the answers to the questions in the word, but that one's the right book, isn't it? Yeah, and the answer to the questions here, so you can get them all marked in the lesson. Going back to that kind of verbal feedback, written feedback, what one's best, getting stuff marked in the lesson so the children can see what they got right and whether they're wrong. It's always the best option in my view. So there you go. That is the free bit of White Rose. And as I said, go have a look online. You can download all of it yourself because it's just a sample resource they share to show how they do things. And I'm going to talk to them about what kind of things I can and can't teach. Because I know when you go look at White Rose, one of the things I've been told about the previous schemes, we're going to use a new scheme, the old one, version two, has little videos which are in here, which you can use and they're all on Vimeo and you can use these to kind of help with little interventions, that kind of thing. So I'd quite like to do my own versions of those and share them for my class to use when, if I'm not there, or for them to use a revision and go over things again, but also obviously to share online for everyone else to use too. But I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that or not. So yeah, I'll speak to them and we'll find out. But I hope this has been a bit of help and do let me know guys, if you do use White Rose, I'd love to have all the support possible because I've never used it before and we're moving into it in September for the first time. So any tips you've got, any tricks you've got that could really help me out or any things to avoid, 
any mistakes you made when you started that you don't want me to make, then please do let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you and obviously get all the help I can get. And as always, there's a new video on here on a Tuesday, a Friday and a Sunday. So I'd love to see you all back here in the next video. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you very soon.